Safe air testers are designed to provide a quick and easy method to carry out accurate periodic testing of breathing air supplies. The F3004 Medicare tester is designed to provide a quick and easy method of establishing the quality of medicinal air as generally used in surgical, medical and dental applications. This is to the limit specified by European Pharmacopoeia and previously in the United Kingdom HTM 2022. In this example, we'll be testing a typical medicinal air system. It should be noted that the visual particle test needs to be completed separately. If required, a simple flow meter, stopwatch and filter media set test can be provided. The F3004 can be supplied in either a hard weatherproof case or a laptop style case depending on which option is chosen. In both instances, storage provision is made for a wide range of accessories and equipment. The F3004 is supplied with batteries packed separately. Please note, rechargeable batteries are not suitable for use with this instrument. These must be installed prior to use, unless it's the intention to power the unit solely from a main supply. It's important to strictly observe polarity when fitting batteries and ensure that they are correctly located. If the tester is to be used adjacent to a power socket, the mains adapter may be used. Please note that the unit should be switched off prior to connection or disconnection of the main supply. The test is carried out using Draeger chemical reagent tubes, one each for nitrous fumes, sulphur dioxide, hydrogen sulphide, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, water and oil. These are supplied in packs of 10 per type and in most cases show the degree of contaminant present as a colour change to the crystals they contain. The extent of this is read against the scale on the tube. To carry out a test, first switch on the machine by pressing and holding the on-off button on the keypad for approximately two and a half seconds. The display will show both the model and serial numbers. If the battery condition is OK, press Enter and press Enter again to acknowledge the date of the last calibration. Using the non-toxic hose provided, connect the F3004 to the system to be tested. Bedhead adapters and connections are available to suit your requirements. The system pressure will be displayed on the tester and must not exceed 10 bar. Please note that if the unit is overpressurized, it will automatically shut down and display an overpressure warning. It will then need to be returned to the manufacturer for checking and resetting. An optional F3005 regulator is available for use with systems up to 20 bar. Press Enter to accept the pressure reading. All flow rates through the tube ports are set, as is the duration of flow through all channels, with the exception of the oil and water. Duration of flow through the oil and water channels are variable and must be set as follows using the up and down scroll buttons. There are two limits stated within European Pharmacopoeia, a high limit of 870 parts per million by volume and a lower limit of 67 parts per million by volume. The appropriate limit must be predetermined by the competent authority and accordingly the high or low range option should be selected on the F3004. In this example, the low range limit of 67 parts per million by volume is being used and so the low range option has been selected. The oil time must now be selected by entering the preset times menu and using the up and down scroll buttons. The oil time is selected to correspond to the particular type of compressor oil that could be present in the system being tested. This information can be found in the documentation wallet and is updated regularly on our website. The tester is programmed with four preset times which cover the vast majority of compressor oils currently available. In this example, the oil in the system is known to be Castrol Air Coal PD100 with no risk of cross-contamination from other oils.
Consequently, the 18 minute 45 second preset time has been selected. Press Enter to confirm your selection. If the oil being used does not correspond to a preset time, the unit has the capability to be programmed with a custom time. This will be stored with the presets for future tests and will remain in the memory until a new custom time is entered. If an oil time is not selected, the unit will default to 75 minutes. This setting should be used if the type of compressor oil potentially in the system is not known or there's a risk of cross-contamination from other oils. Confirm that all settings are correct by selecting Y and pressing Enter. If settings are not correct, select N and repeat the previous procedures, correcting any errors using the scroll buttons. Confirm the amended settings by selecting Y, followed by Enter, to move to the next screen. The unit will now commence a 5-minute purge sequence, during which time an airflow will be passed through all seven tube ports. This clears contaminants from previous tests and ensures that a representative sample is being tested. Once the purge has finished, the Draeger tubes can be prepared for insertion. Remove both ends using the cutter provided. This ensures a clean cut is made and that glass fragments do not fall into the tube ports. The latest Draeger tube tip cutter has three cutting blades. Insert the tube into the hole and gently rotate, then rotate the tube to the side to break the tip. The tube tip will be retained within the cutter for later disposal. As each tube is prepared, it should be inserted into the relevant gland with the arrow pointing outwards and tightened firmly. Once all seven tubes have been inserted, press Enter to start the test. The duration will be displayed as a countdown together with airline temperature, ambient temperature, oxygen content and pressure. The status of the individual tests is indicated on the left-hand side of the display. Black indicates test active and clear test completed. The unit can be left until the test time has elapsed. The readings on the display will now be locked and the results should be recorded. Tube readings can be taken either at the end of the test or individually when the status bar indicates that flow has ceased through a particular port. Instructions on reading detector tubes and their safe disposal can be found in the documentation wallet. In this sample test of a medical air system, the maximum permissible level of nitrous fumes is two parts per million. For this detector tube, the total length of discoloration will be double the actual concentration level in parts per million. Therefore, the reading should be divided by 2 to establish the correct concentration level. For sulphur dioxide, the maximum permissible level is 1 part per million, and this will be shown as a white stain against the grey-blue crystals. For hydrogen sulphide, the maximum permissible level is also one part per million, and this will be shown as a pale brown stain against the white crystals. If the test sample contained carbon monoxide, a greyish stain will be present at the start of the white crystals on the CO tube. The extent of this must not be greater than five parts per million. A maximum carbon dioxide level of 500 parts per million is permissible in medical air. The expected background level is approximately 380 parts per million, and this will be represented as a purple stain at the start of the CO2 tube. The oil tube differs from the others in that it operates by colour change rather than the extent of a stain against a scale. To establish whether oil was present in the sample, gently snap the tube as shown. Alternatively, if you have the latest Draeger tube tip cutter, place the tube in the back of the slot, making sure the dot closest to the tube inlet aligns with the dot on the cutter. Then gradually pull the end of the tube down until you gently snap as shown. Both the inner and outer tubes must break, but be careful not to tear through the outer plastic sleeve. 
hold the tube upright with the crystals at the bottom and tap it to help the fluid that was contained within the inner tube flow onto the crystals. Once the crystals are wetted, wait one minute. If oil is present, a stain will appear immediately below the metal gauze. This will tend to be yellow for synthetic oil and brown or beige for mineral oil. Any significant stain would indicate a fail with an oil concentration of greater than 0.1 mg per cubic metre. Please note that once broken, the tube must not be inverted, as the fluid it contains is concentrated sulfuric acid, and this may leak out, causing injury. The water tube shows the amount of moisture present in the sample as a brownish stain on the yellow crystals. This is measured against the scale in milligrams per cubic metre. It's important to remember that if the high range option has been selected, then the tube reading should be multiplied by 10. For our example medical air system, the required water range is the lower limit of 67 parts per million by volume. The F3004 tester with Draeger tubes reads moisture levels in milligrams per cubic metre. Conversion information between parts per million by volume and milligrams per cubic metre is provided with each unit. When all readings have been logged, the air should be disconnected by reversing the connection procedure. The unit can now be switched off by pressing and holding the on-off button or restarted by pressing it briefly if further tests are to be carried out. The tester will automatically switch off after one hour if not used. Spent tubes should be placed in the container provided for disposal in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions when convenient. When disconnecting the tester from the system, make sure you leave the supply hose connected to the instrument and disconnect at source. Only then can the supply hose be disconnected from the F3004.